He's not, it's a crappie. That's one thing about a scatter wrap, is it'll catch anything that swims, even crappie. You know, and a lot of times, it's amazing, a lot of times what these little crankbaits will catch, they'll catch a little bit of everything in the, in the lake or the river system, they'll even catch crappie. You know, usually whenever you're throwing crankbait shallow, you know, we've got pretty green water here today, and you know, we're starting to get a little overcast, we got a little chop on the water, which all those things I think helps, especially when you're throwing shallow running crankbaits. I think, you know, sunny calm days, I think that's always one of the hardest times to catch fish, unless you've got some really dirty water, but you know, I've kind of got, you know, I've got a bluegill color tied on here today, which, um, you know, we're fishing here up in the summer, and so, you know, I feel like a lot of these fish are, you know, you've still got brim that are still bedding at this time of year. And I think uh, a lot of your bass that live shallow, that's kind of what they're going to target. They're going to target uh, brim. Um, of course, they're going to eat shad also, but I think a lot of times uh, bass target brim a lot, especially in shallow water this time of year. There's one. Oh, that's a pretty good one, I think. I can't tell. Oh, man. Golly. Oh. Oh. Got him on that scatter wrap on that bluegill color. I don't know how big he is yet. He's pulling off. <laughs> I got him on this new Denali covert cranking rod, this new Lose Tournament Pro Reel. I don't even know what I got yet. I got pretty nice. He's not that big. He's just mean. This is really a sweet setup. This rod and reel. He's not a bad one by any means. Let's see if I can figure out how I can get him in here. Oh, boy, there's a chunk. Check out that one. Look how fat he is. But I got him on the scatter wrap. Like I said, I've got him on this new 610 Covert Denali cranking rod. And this thing is really a great little rod for throwing these little crankbaits. I think I've been really impressed. It's a medium heavy action. 8 to 14 pound line, quarter to 5 eighths of an ounce, but I can tell you, it really throws these little light crankbaits really well. And teamed with this new BB1 Pro Series Lose Reel, it's got the adjustment on the side now on the knob instead of having to go inside and reset those pins. And this reel, I, you know, everybody didn't think Lose could improve it, but they did. They made it lighter and they made it better, which it's real convenient when you're casting into the wind. But as you can see, it all paid off here today. Not only does it catch fish, but apparently it catches mussels also. See? I mean, this, is, this just catches everything that's in the lake. Mussels, crappie, bass, you name it, it catches it. You know, most crankbaits, you know, you actually, the, the bill or has to hit something in order to impart the action to get the bait to kick out. But the scatter wrap, you don't have to hit a thing to get the action in the lure. And, you know, a lot of times I'll throw it on just a slow, steady retrieve, but a lot of times you'll see me just take and speed it up one or two turns, and that bill, that action on that bill, that'll cause that bait to change directions and kick out with this lip design that Rappler's put in this lure. And it's really kind of a neat bait, because a lot of times you don't actually have to hit anything to actually have that natural evasive action that kind of triggers fish to strike. So. A lot of times you can throw up there, you're hitting the bottom, but even after you're, you, you bring it away from the bank and you're not hitting the bottom, a lot of times those, those, if there's a fish following it, that bait's kicking out back and forth every time. And that's one thing I think triggers a lot of strikes with this lure. And I've thrown this on a lot of different line sizes. I'm throwing it today on 12 pound gamma fluorocarbon and I've thrown it on eight pound mono. Uh, you know, and it just depends on what I'm doing. If I'm trying to get the bait to its maximum, then I'll go to the eight pound. Uh, today, you know, we're fishing a lot of shallow cover and stick up, so I've kind of gone with a little heavier line. 
And uh, but like I said, the bait works very effective, very well with any line size. But like I said, if you'll just kind of vary your retrieve every now and then, maybe crank a couple times a little faster. But even if you don't do that, the bait will still, still go back and forth and kick out as you reel it back to the boat. <laughs> 